Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here tonight and uh, taking out of your busy days to come here and listen to all of us. Um, I want to thank my family, who's right here pretty close in the second row, and uh, volunteers that are spread throughout. My name is Lucas Gillum. I am your candidate for Justice of the Peace Precinct 4 here in Valverde County. Um, my roots run really deep in this town. My great-grandparents came here in the early 1900s with a dairy by the name of Gulix Dairy. My grandfather ran that dairy here. My mother was an educator here in our schools for more than 32 years, jumping from Garfield to Lamar Elementary, Travis, and uh, ending up at Buena Vista. My dad was a private aviator here. He was Luke Gillum, and uh, he passed away when I was six. And the man that raised me, was whom I also call my dad, is Dr. Rathke. Uh, I was raised in small business and small farms in this community. Um, I'm a product of our local schools. I uh, went through all of our public schools and uh, Sacred Heart as well, Catholic school. I, am, uh, I attended Southwest Texas Junior College and then also studied abroad in uh, Cuernavaca, Morelos, and in Mexico City. Um, my qualifications, I, I, in high school, one of my biggest goals was I wanted to be part of our maquila industry. And uh, to do that, I needed to brush up on uh, some Spanish skills. <laughs> Hence is why I was in Cuernavaca, Morelos. I got my chance to do that in 2002. I was uh, hired as a supervisor at a local manufacturing facility. And uh, within seven years, um, I was in general leadership positions in that same McKeel industry, manufacturing industry. I have also run my own small businesses, both in insurance and in real estate. And that's what we need to return to this Office of Justice of the Peace, is someone from this community who will work hard and treat it as if it's their own business. Um, somebody who will bring their ethics and their common sense and their hard work to the position. Um, that is what I can offer all of you is my hand in service and that experience in this real world. No governmental experience, law enforcement, no real world experience. Um, a judge from your neighborhood. Thank you. Three priorities. Um, the Office of Justice of the Peace is the lowest judicial rank there is. It is the office closest to the people. It is the true people's judge. Um, one of my priorities, my first one, is to return this office to the people. This office must be open at all times for you. Um, you shouldn't have to deal only with clerks. You shouldn't have to make appointments. We should be there for you. That is what I strive to bring to this office First of all, is someone who will be there for you in the good and the bad. Um, that office is here to serve you. It's not here to serve law enforcement. It's not here to serve higher courts. It is here to serve you, the people. Um, and moving along, the fact that that office is here to serve the people is what brings children to mind. Um, You've heard everybody talk about truancy, and uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. When we have juveniles come into this court, it is more than likely their first offense or maybe their second. But we need to not lock these kids away and throw away the key in the system. That does not do anything for our citizens. It doesn't do anything for our community. As justice of the peace, when I win, I will be there for those children. And I will not throw away the key. Um, those kids, they deserve someone to guide them, counsel them, and make it available for them. Somebody who will take an interest. Um, that, you know, three priorities. The other thing that I'm going to offer to every one of you here is to run that office as I would one of my businesses. That office needs to be standardized needs to 
be able to work well with law enforcement, of course, with other entities of the government, the county, the city level, between the same justices of the peace. Uh, there needs to be standardization. We need technological upgrades. We need to bring this office into our 21st century. Uh, it is the office with the most workload, and it is probably the office um, with the busiest personnel. This is a full-time job, no question about it. Um, I offer myself as a full-time justice of the peace. Um, this election, this campaign is for you. This is your election and campaign um, because these are your pu public servants. Uh, that is what I offer to each and every one of you. Muchas gracias a todos. Gracias.